You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to the Season 2 finale of Takeshi Tuesdays. That's right, we're finally done with Season 2. So now we're 30 episodes into the series, uh, 15 per season, of course. Uh, and we will be doing a Season 3 as well, after a small hiatus like we did with this one. So, how am I going to end off Season 2? Well, why not just talking about Takeshi's career in general? Takeshi is a media god. It's honestly harder to name something he hasn't done than something he has. Because Takeshi has done almost everything in the entertainment industry. He started out as a stand-up comedian in the group 2Beat. He's a TV show host of both Takeshi's Castle, which he also created, the Obstacle Course television show, of course, as also known as MXC over here in the U.S. He also hosted radio shows. He hosted game shows. He hosted talk shows. He's done paintings. He's done tap dancing. He's done music. He's had an entire music career. Um, he's done voice acting, he's done acting, directing, writing, editing, producing. He's done game design, he's done game voice acting, he's had games made in his likeness that he didn't design. Overall, he's just done so much with himself, it's, it's insane. Takeshi is like THE Japanese celebrity, because he's done like everything. He's an author. I've actually purchased one of his novels that I will be reading and potentially reviewing next season, depending on how long it takes me to finish it. But overall, he's just a real stand-up guy. He's done so much stuff. I'd highly recommend checking out his career, obviously. I'm a big fan of his in general, and I plan on collecting as much Takeshi stuff as I possibly can. He's been involved in the production of over 50 films uh, in one way or, or another, uh, 18 of which he directed, and then he starred in so many others, many of which aren't even listed on Wikipedia because he's just been in so many movies. You know, he's also been mo-capped for Yakuza 6. Takeshi himself is no stranger to the entertainment industry, and uh, because of that, uh, he is my all-time favorite celebrity. He is the embodiment of what a celebrity is because he does not stick to one medium. He does a little bit of everything and, like to, and likes to dip his toes in the water. Uh, supposedly, he's going to be doing an anime movie. Now, whether or not that was a joke or something he's actually going to do, only time will tell, because he was asked on a talk show uh, what his next film would be, and he said he might be doing an anime adaptation of a novel known as Analog, which is a love story. So if he does that, then he'll complete kind of the whole trifecta of entertainment, because he's never animated anything yet. Uh, unless, of course, he animated the short sequence at the beginning of Achilles and the Tortoise, because that did have an animated segment, so if that's the case, then he's already done that too. But yeah, Takeshi is a legend. An absolute legend, and I don't think anyone has ever lived up to the kind of stuff he's done. And uh, there's a big reason why I'm a big fan of his. He's also run his own office, uh, Office Katano, which is his own studio, uh, where he manages where he, where he managed talent and production. He did he did actually leave Office Katano last year, actually. But uh, despite that. Office Katano still exists and uh, still continues on his legacy. And those are my thoughts on Takeshi as a media god. Anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye, and uh, I'll see you next season. I can't speak fucking Japanese.